in this video, I'm telling you guys what the most overrated zone in Prodigy is. Yes, you guys heard me right. What is the most overrated zone in Prodigy? So without further ado, let's hop straight into our video. Right guys, so now this is made basically on my opinion and what I think about this zone, right? If you guys are able to convince me that this zone is not actually overrated and tell me about a zone which is much worse than this, I will release a video telling you guys that this zone is not the worst and then I'll release a video basically destroying the zone you guys told me about, right guys? So in my opinion, the most overrated zone in the game is the Dark Tower. Right, now you guys may be wondering, what? How is the Dark Tower the most overrated zone in the game? Well, you guys will soon understand, right guys? So let's first head into the Dark Tower, right guys? So the entry cost to enter the Dark Tower is 500 gold. That's 5 monster battles or 2 monster battles if you're me because I get lucky and get like 400 gold every monster battle I do. Once you click the start button, you guys get yeeted into the Dark Tower. Now, what would be the reason you guys go into the Dark Tower? It's really not a cool zone in the game. The only thing which you guys have to do is 2 monster, 2 boss battles and then get yourself a heart bonus 8 cloak. Now here's the thing, you guys can't even get this cloak if you aren't a member, right? Already that's like disliked by me because like you have to get membership to do this zone. And here's another thing, you guys can get another heart bonus 8. I'm gonna ignore the armor right now because I have to talk about that later on. But first of all, you guys can tell that it basically costs us 500 gold to get in. And now if you guys are lucky, you might be able to do like 5 battles in the Dark Tower 10 or 20. But then you guys will eventually have to exit. Right now, for every battle, you can get anywhere from 100 to 400 gold. Right, guys? So basically, in two battles, you could earn more than what you spend in the Dark Tower. Right, so that's pretty cool. The gold area is covered. But now, the real reason why you guys may be entering the Dark Tower is basically to gain XP and battle Myra Shade and the Dragon. Right now, if you ask me, that's not too bad, but what's the real motive behind this? The real motive is probably Myra Shade's robe set, right? Myra Shade's robe, wands, and hat. Now, this Believe me or not, it's the least effective way to get powerful armor in the game. It is the least effective way, right guys? You guys can even get the Dragonox gear faster than this, right? Now, let me tell you guys about the Black Fang gear, guys. Alright guys, so basically the Black Fang set comes with the Black Fang, which is the helmet, and the Black Fang robe, which is the robe. Now, both of these do a hard bonus of 8, and you guys can get this robe by doing 50 bounty battles in Prodigy. Yes, you guys should be right, only 50 bounty battles in Prodigy, right guys? Let's suppose that you guys get lucky, you only end up with like maybe 2 bounty battles a day, right guys? So what's 50 by 2? That's 25. So basically in 25 days and only 50 battles, you guys will be able to get yourself the Black Fang Cloak. Well, if you look at the Dark Tower guys, right? If you look at the Dark Tower, let's just show you guys the battles which you guys will have to do to get that stuff, right? You guys will already have to do approximately 2 times the work you guys have to do in the Dark Tower. Right guys, so now another thing is that if you guys look over here, you guys can tell that basically for the last few steps of the Dark Tower, you guys are gonna have to do multiple battles. You guys are gonna have to do like... You guys will basically have to do 23 person battles, right guys? And that's already more pets than you'll have to battle for the bounty, right? 23 person monster battles is already 60 pets. And that is absolutely crazy because that only makes up for one-fifth of the Dark Tower. For one-fifth of the Dark Tower, you're doing as much work as it would take you to get the bounty armor, right? That is absolutely crazy, meaning... Now, another thing is that in order to get this armor set, you guys need to get membership in Prodigy. Now, we all do know membership in Prodigy is kind of expensive, but if you're getting it only for the Dark Tower, I would not recommend it. Alright guys, so basically if you're only getting membership to go into the Dark Tower and you have everything else, I would not recommend it. Right guys, a ridiculous thing is that the Dragonox gear will take more effort than it will the Dark Tower, right guys? So basically in sets of gears which you guys need to get, you guys would probably recommend getting the Black Flame Coat because that's one of the fastest ways to get 8 power bonus cloaks in the game without having to get membership at all, right guys? So basically, the Black Flame Cloak is free, you guys can get it, and it's awesome gear. Now, the next thing is that the Dark Tower costs membership, and once you guys get membership, you guys only get to use the Dark Tower once, and that's all. Only once. The one time when you use the Dark Tower, that's all. You finished the battle, you lost access to it. Nothing else. 
I mean, I would have loved it if PUBG would have just allowed us to replay the levels for like no reason. Like maybe we could just get gold from them. We could just replay the levels and get gold, no XP or something like that. Or maybe we could get like rare hats while doing this place. But if you guys already have a decked out PUBG account or semi decked out account, this place won't be much useful un after you've completed it. So getting an yearly membership for this place or a half yearly, annually or quarterly membership for this place does not make sense. Because in terms of value, this only provides about 100 battles worth of value and that's all. Right? Only 100 battles and that's all. So if you ask me, that's kind of one thing which is a bummer about the Dark Tower. It really doesn't have much content to do other than finish the battles. I mean, sure, during the monster battles is pretty cool. I mean, not gonna lie, the Dark Tower videos are two of my most watched videos. The Myra Shade battle and, drumroll please, what do you call it? What's that dragon? And uh, Gandalf's battle, right guys? These videos have approximately one-tenth of a million views and that is absolutely crazy. And that is ridiculous because that is two twentieth of my entire channel's views, right? 220th, wait, no, I have like 2.1 million views and that's like 200,000 combined, but still, that is absolutely crazy, guys. The Dark Tower is such a crazy place in Prodigy. In terms of gold value and armor, it is decent, although there are better options. So if you ask me, so far the Dark Tower doesn't seem like it's providing enough value for the game. Maybe Prodigy might be able to update this and like make it so that we could replay that would instantly like just pop this out of like the most overrated. And yeah, I do remember... I forgot oh. about Tower Town. I know, I forgot about Tower Town. If you guys can convince me that Tower Town is worse, I'll make a video on it. Right, guys, so basically that's my opinion in Prodigy, and um, I, I wonder what your guys' opinion is and what the most overrated place in the game is. Right, guys? And of all dragons, Mr. I just died. We're battling the father of all dragons, Mr. Master Gandalf. And as you guys can see, this guy looks, um, this guy looks pretty cool. Okay guys, here we go. I've just equipped myself an extra damage potion. So, as so let's cast our spell. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna cast Falling Star Smash on Mr. Gandalf because he is the boss. So let's get this started. Answer my question correctly and looks like we shall be doing approximately 3922 damage to Mr. Gandalf, the father of all dragons. Now in addition to this, now that I've done that, let's equip one of our- So let's just equip our rare damage bonus and use it to attack Mr. Gandalf. Right, let's cast this spell, Falling Star Smash, once again and see how much damage we will be able to do. Key Artichokey! So it looks like I've answered my question correct, and we shall be doing approximately 4,525 damage. And that's not too shabby at all, it's almost 5,600, it's almost 6,000 damage. So without further ado, let's use Falling Star Smash once again. Key answering my question correct! And looks like we shall be doing another 4,556 damage to Mr. Gandalf. And what? What? Did I seriously win? That battle was so short. No. Oh my gosh. That battle was so short. I only did three attacks. That's less than what you do to a monster. Wow. Is um. He, is he only a level 10? What level was that? Gandalf? Was he a level 10 that he died so quickly? He might just die. Oh god, that looks so cool. Let's click attack and just watch. Oh god, that looks so cool. Epic. 100. What? Are you? I want to. At least he doesn't do 150,000 damage. I shall pull you in again. Did you know that Zero is the strongest spell. human spell in Prodigy? Spells, spells, spells. Now you shall be stung. Will you excuse me, Mr. Dragon, who looks amazing, but can you please die? Yes! You missed me! Okay. Sorry? There's no spell that he's weak against. It's only one line and one one on that line. And so I want to catch myself one of those. Wait, can you evolve one into that? Or is there only one father of, father of dragons? Two across, six up. Wait, nah. Oh, yes. 
die already. Why won't you? Yes, destroy bigger boss. Die. That's not what I meant by die. Die means you go black to my human. He will die. Not him. Which is gonna be sad. My, his head is cut off the screen like bleh, bleh. What is that glowing thing? It keeps on glowing on and off and on and off. I'm winning more Dr. Genius. Will you just die already? I wonder how much old Maria Shades has. Oh the no. The same amount as this epic driving. This isn't a- Yeah, it's ready to be pulled in a force and be smashed by a hydraulic press. Boom. Oh, those- Wait, I read about this and I finally won? Look at his health. We'll get 500 coins back. Win. Hey, you're doing great. Here's a little reward. 1,000 gold? Whoa, that's enough for two rounds in the Dark Tower. Yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a mongoose thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this miniature rant on how the Dark Tower is underrated. Rated. So yeah, I will be catching you all next time when Dr. Jimmy is going to go huh. battle in the Dark Tower to get myself the game.